Hey, hi, Joel Lightcatcher here, and today I got a wheel. And this is a wheel that came to me with a problem. And the problem is, it's way out of true. Leon came to me the other day with his trike. He has a fat tire Sunseeker trike. And he was complaining that it was making a lot of rumbling noise and it was really uncomfortable. And I looked at it and almost immediately can see the wheel is doing this wobble back and forth. So I said, okay, let's true it up and see how they go. So I already finished this one. This is without the wheel, and it's trued about as well as I can. This is an Origin 8. It says there, Origin 8. And this is kind of an inexpensive wheel. And we trued up the best we can. So I thought, well, before we do the next one, let's go do a video of it. Well, we got our tire here, and we got a collection of different type tire wrenches. The first one was a little difficult, starting with the speed wrench. So I'm going to try... Um, this gorilla gorilla lever let's see if we can get this off now I've already let the air out and these are a little snug I've never I'll be honest I've never tried this tire lever before this is just got them I guess it's gonna double as a review there, it goes. there we go Get a little more air out of there. I like to pull the tube out at this point. So we want to save this inner tube. All right, inner tube away. Let's get the rest of the tire off. Put the beach just easily, just come right off. There we go. Tires off. Well, first thing I want to do is look at this. See how's the the tape. The tape on this is a little different than the other one, because these little pockets there were were not. That's interesting. Let's get the other wheel for a second. No, nope, I stand corrected. They're indented. It came with the tape are already in there from Origin Eight. Interestingly, you see how these are nice and round. These are all kind of like pressed in. I don't know why. I've never seen these little holes before, so I guess I'll just kind of just push them out with my thumb now that I can. And while I'm doing it, just inspect, make sure we don't have any holes here where the nipples come through. So that looks good. Just look at the rim. We have any nicks. Feels smooth. Feels dirty. Okay. Let's go put it on the truing stand and see what condition this is in right now. What we have here are through axles. So we have to use a through axle adapter to put it on the truing stand. The problem is we have this recessed nut on the side. And I happen to find this washer that fits where the dust cover normally goes when you mount them on the axle. So I'm going to use that as a spacer to uh, help get the through axle adapter on. So let's get that going. And here's the through axle. I have the cone there, you see. And if I put it right through there, it fits in the hole of the washer. And I can take the other cone. And that fits right down into the bearing. And tighten all that down. These tools are, unfortunately, not inexpensive. This adapter alone to work on the wheels it's like 60 bucks but you know if you're doing this professionally you know well what can I say professional tools aren't cheap anyway so there we are ready to mount it on our truing stand okay it was set up not too long ago for the other wheel let's just make sure we have that in good and it's in but Yep, here we go. Okay, get a little pressure off. Okay, let's spin and see. Oh yeah, we got some wobble there, you see that? It's definitely not true. Let's go look at it at the bottom by the calipers. Well, if you watch in here, watch what happens when I spin this. Especially in this point here, you can see the wobble. 
And if I bring these in just a little bit till it makes a little noise, you can see how it pulls away back and forth. That's got a really bad wobble there. Okay, so we're gonna play with the spokes and see what we can do about that. Let's see how it is for roundness. Okay, watch the gaps here and here for roundness as I spin it. Let's bring those in a little bit tighter. And let's see where we are. Oh boy, you can see the wobble too. Let's bring it up a little bit more. See how the roundness is. Are we touching? Ooh, perhaps back it up a little bit more. Actually, roundness isn't too bad on this one. It's just the wobble is really, really bad. At this place, I'd like to see where I am in my starting position, so I'm going to check my spoke tension to see how I am. I got where the valve stem is. I put a little piece of tape to mark my initial spokes. So starting on the left side, I'm just going to go and check my tensions. And here we are at 24. And I record that into my program. Well, I got all my numbers in here, and I'm going to go and update this and we see well this wheel the left side is not terribly bad the right side is quite bad and i'm going to uh save this I already have some information for my clients in here and we're set for um this these are the types of spokes i know it's aluminum because a magnet does not attract to it if it were that would have been a steel spoke and it is the smallest that there is so it's that so now that we got this uh, we can see where we have a lot of issues. This side is fairly close, fairly run. See 24, 23, there's a 25, there's a 25, and you can see the spikes there on the left side. But on the right side, you can see it's all over the place. And the right side is probably why we're having so many issues. Well, it's actually the next day, and today I'm gonna start making my adjustments. I'm gonna start by moving the caliper in, and Getting this where it should be. And it's looking like it's already pretty far out. Well, the first big surprise just happened. And it happened off camera. I noticed that I could not get the caliper square, but my truing stand was true. So I went back to check the trueness for the dishing of the wheels. So I'm gonna start now with the wheel I just did and compare that to the wheel that I was about to do. Again, this is the wheel we just did. And when I put my dishing tool on here and lower this down, lock it in, okay. Now we should be at the same level on the other side. We'll flip this around. And this is a little weird because we have the recessed hub, but I'm gonna still put my dishing tool right here. And you can see, that's just, that's pretty much right. That's true. You can see right there, it's at the same level as it is on the other side. But watch this. Here's the wheel I'm about to trim that didn't fit the calipers right. I'm gonna again put this right back here, set that down, lock it in place. That's on the bearing. Let's flip the wheel over, just like we did on the first wheel. And, oh, look at that. That is an enormous gap there. I have to dish this wheel after I get the, the tensions right and the wobble out to pull this side closer to that level. And that's the new challenge. Well, I just used my dishing tool and I had checked and double checked all of these spokes on this side. It took two revolutions to get the wheel centered now. So now I can get the calipers on it correctly. And sorry, I didn't show you my twisting, but hey, eh, it's kind of boring anyway. The next step is to get the wobble out. In the truing stand, we're going to bring the calipers in as we spin the wheel, listening for some rubbing. Bring in a little bit. There's some rubbing on that side. How about the other side? Not yet. Let's bring it in a little bit more. Well, I like to, I'm just right-handed, so I like to work on the right side. There's a little, there's a little rub right there, and I like to put a little piece of tape on that spoke to mark where it starts and it finishes right about there so these have to loosen up or the others have to tighten these are already loose so i'm going to tighten 
these two a little bit. Actually, it's just one on this side. Oh boy. Looks like, okay, there we go. Writing, about quarter turn. Just a little, a little more. Okay, that. Trying to get it right about the center of those two little ones. Okay, that's good. Let's move on. <laughs> A wheel just fell down. Alrighty, let's move on to the next one. And you know, as you fix something, you can find other problems. So let's just go around the whole thing and I'll do that rather quickly. Okay, we trued for wobble, and you can see we're not hitting the pads anymore, and we're nice and centered. Now we've got to work on the roundness. Then bring that down and in, and let's see where we are with this. Let's see if we hit anything. Oh, there's a low spot. So right about there. Let's get our tape again. Right about... Right about there it starts. Oh, there's the high mark. Looks like we got, ah, oh, that's the problem. There's nothing I do about it. This is the seam, and it's just a bad, just, just not a high quality hub. It pulls up there because that's the nature of the beast. There's nothing I can do about it. All right, let's continue. So well, now I gotta go and back and check for wobble, because we played with the roundness. To check the spoke tension one last time to check our quality and maybe make a little final adjustments on the tension just so we have at least minimum tension on some of these weaker spokes. Well, we mounted the tires on the wheel and we're going to just double check the truing. Bring this in a little bit and give it a spin. So far, that looks, sounds pretty good. Let's bring this in a little bit. Almost more than a millimeter. Yeah. Yeah, that's a winner. Got to now check out the other tire, and then once we got that done, we're going to put these on the truck. You know, I said I wanted to test the brakes first. Hard to listen with all the cars. Yeah. In the rain. Nice quiet place for you to try it out. Playground. 